Hi Libra, this is Shah and welcome to your weekly reading and this reading is from the um, 6th to the 12th of July 2020 and uh, if you're a cyber angel, wow, fantastic. You have come forth this week and you gave the video 42 likes so that has brought you to the fourth place. Thank you very much and I show you my appreciation by giving you this reading and I hope you enjoy it. Now for those that have landed on this channel for the first time welcome and I hope you enjoyed the reading and if you would like to have an extended reading anybody uh, cyber angels or new people then please look at the information in the description box or in the top right hand corner click on the circle with the eye on it and it will take you to the website feel free to have a look at the website there will be a new reading added on this week and that will be a crystal ball reading a crystal ball uh, it, a reading it already says it is um, I look into the crystal ball and I do the reading and afterwards I pull cards to con see to confirm whether the messages are right and where they come from and where the energy is going and uh, also uh, the oracle cards okay so it's uh, a little bit different than the general or romance reading because that looks more like the nine card spread I have here um, and it's got clarification cards obviously and oracle cards so if you would like to have an extended reading have a look um, in the description box there you find all the information please send me an email um, and then I will uh, get back to you ASAP please don't contact me through messenger because I do have other things to do it's like when you hear a ping in the video it could be a message from messenger so that's why I do shut off my messenger uh, at uh, in the evening because people do um, try to approach me through messenger please send an email with your question um, for a reading or anything else and I will get back to you as soon as possible now this is the querent card or the uh, in uh, the general information or theme card analytical card and this is Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and the four corner cards are the clarifying cards for the three cards around it or vice versa then I've got the three oracle cards answers from the angels and of course a crystal you can use that to carry that with you to get less stressed to pu keep you in balance to detoxify or meditate on the crystal or with the crystal you can download this picture you 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 will find it on uh, Colin Bad's uh, Colin Baron Reed's uh, uh, website or in Pinterest and of course the Archangel no not the Archangel the angel feather so let's get started and I'm going to take this as the querent and the overall energy for the reading so the overall energy is the five of swords and the five of swords means disagreements arguments you might uh, have had an argument well I'm sorry that is not very good and um, I, it can be saddening because nobody is the winner and if you haven't had an argument which I think you haven't then please walk away from other people's drama don't get involved because the five of swords is like Mars that is the card of war nobody is a winner look the two people or the two birds in the back are standing there and looking at him and nobody and they're not getting close so they're not bonded anymore so if it could cost a friendship nobody is the winner with a senseless argument now when I was laying laying out the cards I usually don't look at the cards when I lay them out I just put them in as they come out but you've got three fives so five is um, uh, definitely um, 
uh, an important number this week and it's 15 1 and 5 brings you back to 6 so at the end of the week you will be back in balance but if you see 5 5 or 5 5 5 then uh, the angels are showing you a sign have a look on Google what 555 means uh, or 55. Okay, but I've never seen three cards in a row with the same number. Okay, so on Monday, the sixth, your other card is the um, Hierophant. The Hierophant, that is the High Priest, uh, and also known as the High Priest. He represents um uh, a man of wisdom a man of law a man of tradition as he is the head of an institution it could also be somebody from a municipality so let's uh he also represents aries so it could be an arian that you are seeking advice from this could be a mature person this could be a, a professional person but also a person that you highly respect but is mature or a father figure so you might be seeking advice on this situation that it, it might be happening around you uh, about uh, um, a, an issue that you have with a group or with somebody else you might seek legal advice or advice on how to settle this disagreement let alone um, perhaps an argument on Wednesday you have the page of cups and the page of cups could be Cancer Scorpio or Pisces and since it's lying next door to the swords card the five of swords it could also be that there could be um, a, a water sign involved emotions are definitely running high because the cups are emotions and are also love passion nurturing uh, sensuality and sexuality um, yeah uh, the argument could be uh, about um, getting married or not getting married having passion or staying with the relationship or leaving the relationship um, because emotions are running high and this is the card for disagreements and since we've got three birds here usually it's only two people in the traditional tarot card it could be a third party so that could that could be the issue at hand that you might have just found out about a third party situation um, it could be in business but it could also be in love because of love and passion it could be about um, a job that you love to do or a vocation that you love to do um, or that you're passionate about and somebody is intervening is giving their advice and you don't want their advice because you are there with your partner um, but you might have a disagreement because this partner has brought in an advisor this is a hypothetical situation of course that I'm dis uh, describing because it could be anything if it is a relationship it could be that one of you is having uh, 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 a special friendship outside the re your own relationship and that can cause friction big time and arguments so then you if you are married and you want to get a divorce you go and seek advice from a lawyer there you are but it could also be in the positive sense with this COVID virus that um, there are no third parties allowed at a wedding because the high priest obviously does marry people and because he is a head of an institution and re represents institutions and municipalities the municipality would be the registry office so you might have to get married with strangers but usually they do take a witness okay so that could be the third party and how are you going to uh, um, how are you going to put that together perhaps that could be an issue as well that could be an argument you do, you want the family there and the friends and 
your partner that you're going to get married to says no I want to be with you and I want to get married as quick as possible there's all kinds of scenarios here it could be because you're pregnant one of you is pregnant because the child is here um, and you want to get married because you really want to be a unit and you want the, ba the baby to um, have a mum and dad and carry the family's name there's a lot of scenarios when I read privately obviously um, I I will know your birth date and the birth date of your partner um, and I feel your energy and I can uh, get into uh, your energy much easier because your ancestors or people that have gone over will give me the information that I need and that is how it works but remember this is a general reading I'm not saying that all uh, Libras have um, somebody that's unfaithful no okay please 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 remember this is a general reading have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign um, at, or both together and it will give you a clearer picture in general remember they are general readings and for a situation like that I would need to do a private reading but the page also means news you will be getting news perhaps you might get news we've solved the problem you know we can do the wedding outside instead of the inside registrar office in Holland you can get married outside and you can have so many people perhaps not 200 but uh, I've read it on Facebook just as it happens it's just come up in my brain again that I, I remember it uh, the rules have slackened but you're only allowed to have a hundred uh, guests at a time and the chairs have to be a one meter fifty uh, uh, away from the other chair so these people they've been busy sorting this out and asking legal advice on how they can get married so they're going to have two parties and um, that's what I mean look at the positive side of a card and look at the negative side of the part um, uh, uh, the card it is not upside down but everything is got is up and downside and is positive and is negative we can't do without the shadow and this is the shadow lands and I even get more information with these cards at the moment and I do chop and change on cards but that could be the third party giving you an idea to have two parties okay so don't worry and the angel numbers the angels are giving you a message here have a look on Google what 555 means and it will bring you back in balance because it's 1 and 5 because 3 fives is, six, uh, is f um, 15 and 1 and 5 is 6 so there will be balance so don't worry it's not as bad as it seems so long you walk away from drama take time out to contemplate and think and evaluate the whole situation if not ask for um, professional advice or advice from a person you respect a mature person then we have the five of cups we have the five of cups don't cry over spilled milk the past is the past you've learned from the past perhaps you did have that perhaps you might have been married before and uh, you had this big wedding uh, and uh, it went according to plan but you have to adjust every time in life life has its ups and its downs so take the worst and make it take the two cups that are left over and you can change the present and you can change the future if you want to get married now then adjust accordingly or wait until a couple of months later on when the lockdown has slacked off totally um, I'm getting to hear the fifth day of the fifth month perhaps uh, uh, you might want to get, or, or at the fifth hour perhaps you might want to do it totally you might want to get married 
on five o'clock in the morning or five o'clock in the afternoon on the fifth uh, fifth day of the fifth month so perhaps you might want to change the scenario um, for the marriage for example next year May okay perhaps over five to six months because um, the six came out out of three fives and we've got five here so perhaps f all five weeks to five months you have to wait I think it's going to be sooner than you realize if you are going to get married and things will change and you will uh, be able to get the advice from uh, a proper advice from an alterary public or uh, a notary public or from somebody from the government where you can where you can get married perhaps the wa this number might be in an address it's the postcode or a house number or a, a number of a restaurant or somewhere I don't know the world is big and yet so small on Saturday and Sunday you do have recognition for your hard work I think you will find your solution because you have learned from the past and if you're going to get married again this time or form a partnership in work I think you are very wise and you've gained the knowledge because this hard work means that you've studied and you've completed the study perhaps and you've got your diploma perhaps you might want to hold a party and <coughs> Although we haven't got the Three of Cups here, perhaps you want to hold a party and you might have to wait another five weeks or start celebrating next year. But who knows? Only you knows what resonates with you, but you do have recognition. So somebody has an eye on you. This could be a new job, this could be a new person in your life um, that is interested in you. Um, it could be even a person from the past because it's lying actually if I'm doing an extended reading this is the past so that's why I'm uh, saying it could be somebody from the past seeing you as you are now and that you've moved on from the past and that you've changed your past and that you do not want to get into uh, other people's drama You've grown up, you're wiser, like the um, <coughs> high priest or the hierophant. So you could be an advisor towards somebody else if you don't seek advice. So you will have recognition and something positive will come out. It could be a promotion, it could be a new love. This could be an Aries this could be a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Now um, in the first corner we have the Fox. Now the Fox means be careful, sly, analytical, uh, nitty-picking uh, people or an individual. Remember, learn from the past and if somebody does come from the past you are wise now, as wise as a fox, as sly as a fox. You know his tricks, because fox may shed his fur, but it doesn't lose its tricks. Perhaps you might have to take a page out of somebody's book that is like this, because you might have to work on in on detail or in detail. So cross your T's and dot your I's if you are looking for a promotion because this could be a promotion. Perhaps a potential employer or your boss has an eye on you and you know it but he doesn't know that you know. So be stum. Don't say anything. Just work to detail and if there is a deadline get it done. This fox knows how to get his price. He will sit there and he will wait and observe and then jump unexpectedly on his price. 
he will get what he wants in the end. So don't go into arguments, be wise. Take the right moment to adjust. Come with a plan. Take ten, uh, a step back so that you can move 10 steps forward at the right time. Be sharp and be witty and don't cause any arguments. Get an arbitrator if you need to. And then we've got the child. Some of you might find out that you're pregnant, like I said in the beginning of the reading, because this I saw this already lying in the corner of my eye. But the child also means new beginnings. And it could also mean a new job, uh, a, 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 a new project, or you could be hearing of a birth if you are too mature to get pregnant. You might hear that your one of your children is pregnant and you might become a grandmother or a grandfather or an aunt. Who knows? But the child also means be more playful. Don't take everything too serious. If you're too serious, then um, that can cause arguments, especially in a relationship. So be more playful, or you might start a new study, because you've just finished your last study and you might want to specialize or upgrade your knowledge, uh, because the child plays things in um, learns things in in a playful way. Perhaps you might do an internship in a company and they are your qualities are wanted um, but you need to polish up the facets to know how they work and their rules so that could be an internship that you'll be working and learning at the same time <coughs> and you have learned from the past so yes you will be more relaxed because you've gained life experience and knowledge from the past on not how to do things okay you are not going to get involved in other people's drama because you don't want to be used or abused you are going to stay away you have learned and people ha are seeing this okay that you're more playful and that you can be serious but you can also be spontaneous and that's what we need more of in life positive energy and thinking of others teaching others in a playful way perhaps you might be the teacher or the advisor after all the teacher is also somebody from an institution now you've got the fish know your boundaries Definitely, you've learned your boundaries, but also let other people know your boundaries. You can work well in groups. Again, three, three, so it means groups. Something might be significant, something might be happening that's significant that you have to work in groups, but keep your distance and know your boundaries. Let other people know that you will follow the rule uh, of what is now the one and a half meters. <coughs> it means luck in business and luck at work. Okay. And of course this is 34 so that's a 7 so luck is on your side. And uh, the fish is looking against the hyphen so perhaps you might as a group seek advice from somebody like being a teacher. A classroom is a group. There you go. You see how it comes together and you might get news from your teacher um, about boundaries or about regulations or about other things that you might have to learn that could entail having control of your emotions and not fighting. Let's say you might be, uh, you might be a receptionist in uh, in a municipality like the police or the fireman and you want to actually go into action so you will start in uh, this course to enhance 
to go up a level. Although we haven't got the world here or the Wheel of Fortune to go up to the next level, it can still happen. Okay? Um, so, you have to learn how to be a fireman or a policeman and how to deal with the public that can be abusive and you're not allowed to get emotional. You have to walk away from it but also interact and stay calm. Especially now that this is being highlighted in the media and it's coming up in your reading perhaps and your the scales. So there might be a lot of you working in municipalities or justice or in a lawyer's office or an advocate's office, uh, office or a notary public and you might have to deal with this and you might get a little bit emotional or angry on how people react. Then that is a, a refreshing course or sharpening up uh, your, your wits. Okay, and you might be um, learning it in a playful way. You'll be doing a practical um, experience in the classroom so that you can use it out in the public. Okay, well, like I said, I'm work l reading for a lot of people. Um, it could be that you want to keep the order in the class and let the class know your boundaries. We have to all live together and come together and get the balance. The last card is the heart card. Okay, now I, I began with marriage and this card does mean relationships. As you have the heart card, you might be meeting your new love, like I said. Again, you've got 24, so there is an other six here. So you... Um, will be in balance that's a double number six fifteen comes to six and this is a six so that is significant again the angels are saying follow your heart okay learn from the past follow your heart if it feels good open your solar plex um, then do it so you might be forming a partnership definitely you might be forming a partnership in love with a water sign or an Aries. And, but be careful of sly people. Make sure that you have the right information. If you don't, if you don't trust your, your gut feeling or any ideas that come into your head, and then talk to somebody about it. Wow. And I'm getting to hear there will be a solution. There will be a solution. You only have to find the right advisor that knows the law. Now the angel um, feather card uh, is Magneta, angel feather, and that's like a Barbie pink. And um, I was talking about partnerships, and it couldn't—it doesn't have to be only in love. Have a look at your romance reading, see whether this can resonate with your romance reading. And I was talking about partnerships in work, right? Well, the Angel Feather card says, "Essence of an entrepreneur." An entrepreneur means that somebody uh, can trade. You are. You are wise enough, like the Hierophant. You know the law, perhaps. You know what you need to know. You've learned from the past to start your own business and join up with a potential partner. Seek the advice. Make a contract. And if somebody give, offers you a contract, look at the small print. Get it checked out by an advocate or a jurist. The angels have witnessed your business flair and dedicated work ethic recognition. Yeah, they believe that you could aspire to be quite an entrepreneur if you choose to follow this path. There you go. The second card is the um, Apache uh, Tears and that is the crystal that you have for this week, Libra and it is a pinky color so that does mean uh, the heart is open 
the an, uh, angelic chakras there is the green is for the heart and pink is for the heart and uh, the pink is Archangel Shamuel and um, the green is Archangel Haniel so take your pick you can use this stone to carry with you or to meditate with and also on its name you can if you haven't got the stone go to Pinterest and type in Apache Tears and then you can print it down or load it down and print it up, uh, off the Apache Tears means letting go of grief letting go of the past recovering from the past releasing the pain so the old wounds can heal in other words you have learned from the past don't let anybody use you or abuse you walk away from drama you have gained that knowledge and that life experience so use it to your advantage okay so that is a beautiful stone to have okay and the answer of the angels is wait wait for the right moment like I said listen to your spirituality listen to the new uh, thoughts or intuition because he's a spiritual man like I said and some decks they he's also called the shaman so listen to your own spirituality your intuition new ideas or your dreams so beautiful reading Libra you will be um, in balance and in your power at the weekend because this is a number eight and eight means your powerhouse and money house there might even be money coming through your passion you might make a hobby into a real life work that could be it as well and somebody loves the way you um, help people or converse with people or your product and they are recognizing you and they want to join and form a partnership with you so be careful of your emotions be businesslike okay like the Hierophant that is my um, advice and wait for the right moment walk away from drama wait for the right moment to say what you have to say find out the necessary information first and then open your heart and your solar plex I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I um, I'm glad you will be staying in balance. Take care, God bless and be blessed and please like the video again. Your video is the longest so far and has taken off a life of its own. So whatever scenario it is, whether it's a marriage, an engagement or a business partnership, I wish you all the success and take care. Please share and like with family and friends and let me know what your partnership is if there is one or whether you're pregnant good luck take care and god bless and i'll see you in the life which is monday wednesday or friday and i'll leave notifications on instagram and facebook and in the community tab on youtube ciao ciao thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life monday wednesday or friday ciao ciao